So my name is uh, Michaela Bundeson, and this is Simon. And now Simon. And we are working for Region Westerbotten, uh, and we're here to talk about relocate, uh, a method the development project uh, run in collaboration with um, the Swedish Public Employment Service, the Skellefteå Municipality, and Northvolt. Uh, and it's co-funded by the European Social Fund, and it's been created to make it easier for those who want to move to Hulefteo to work and live. So the current state, when we started this project two years ago, uh, no news to you now, it's uh, over 10,000 new, new jobs generated um, as a result of Northfold's establishment, uh, both in the industry, but also in other branches and sectors. And we have an already low unemployment rate here. I think it was 6.2 when we started, and it's down to 3.6 now, so it's decreasing. Uh, and the matchable existing workforce uh, in occupation that require upper secondary school uh, is too small relative to the needs in the municipality. So we have people moving here, but not to the extent that we need, and not enough people to meet the needs. Uh, and there is also no sector-wide collaboration model or method um, at a national level that supports labor market mobility. Uh, it has not been needed in the extent that we need uh, today. Uh, so we need to strengthen the capacity to attract labor to Skellefteå and Västerbotten, from other regions in Sweden, uh, and we need to do it together. The target group for this project are those who are unemployed and live further away than commuting distance, and we are focusing on larger cities like Stockholm and Malmö. Uh, we're not limited to those um, cities, but we are investing most in these because they have the largest number of unemployed people. Uh, so I said it was a method development project. And in order to succeed in the supply of competence, we need to be brave and we need to try new ways of working. Um, and Relocate is, Relocate is uh, one of those initiati initiatives. It's a method development project and the method or model is developing and changing throughout the project. The goal for us is that the methods we develop and test uh, can be used by more. Later on, we hope that we can broaden and uh, uh, direct it to other target groups, both unemployed uh, and people in employment. Uh, another just as important goal, and I think it was Emily from Northvolt who talked about it as well, is to test the system, the structures, the processes, uh, to be able to identify uh, the barriers for labor market mobility that we are facing today. But to, uh, to try and summarize the model we are working on today, we try a lot of different methods in three categories. Attract, identify, and include. And the changes uh, for the Swedish Public Employment Service in recent years their reformation no longer means the same contact with the target group in this project, the unemployed people. So within the project, we have been working and spending a lot of time finding other partners uh, to get in touch with the target group. Uh, therefore, labor market units at the targeted municipalities in Stockholm and Malmö, for example, are important partners for us in reaching the target group. The private uh, providers linked to the Swedish Public Employment Service um, are also uh, an important partner. And we also work with different organizations, such, such as the International uh, Women's Association in Malmö. And through these collaborations with municipalities and organizations, um, the opportunity to inform and attract uh, people increases.
Regarding identify, um, we want to find people with unused skills. We believe that there are people with skills that are not being used today. Um, who wants to work and who could work, but for various reasons haven't got the, the chance. Uh, to address that, we are uh, developing a method for recruiting in a new innovative way. And it's an inclusive method that instead of focusing on what is written in a person's CV, focuses on general skills and motivation. And general skills or soft skills is not about what the person is like, but how they can apply their skills in a specific work situation. We also have more traditional recruitment processes, and the overall goal is to match people's skills with the need uh, of employers here in Kuleftio. The include category, that is our participant program, the relocate program. And my colleague, Simon, is going to tell you a little bit more about that. Yeah. Uh, because an important aspect has been to package an offer uh, for the job seeker uh, to be able to, to make the deci decision if they were going to move to, to Schleftio. Uh, so this is the relocate program. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on the first two, uh, the, the inside Schleftio and the guiding. Uh, so the inside Schleftio, it's a web course. Uh, been develop, developed for this project. So you can have a job seeker in Stockholm or Malmö or somewhere in Sweden to take this online course in their phone, tablet or, or computer uh, and get insight on, about how the opportunities in Schleftio, how it is to live here and everything. So if they are prepared or it's easier for them to make the decision if they're going to move here or not. Uh, and with this web course, of course, a lot of questions for the job seeker, and not only the job seeker, it's also included for the family or partner uh, that's also going to move maybe. And uh, so they get in contact with the guides within the project, so they can ask questions about the education, and the moving part, and of course the housing that's been mentioned before. Uh, and these two together is really important for making this happen for the candidates or job seekers to be able to move and make these trans transitions. Uh, but not only it is about the work, uh, as mentioned before, it's also about the spare time, uh, work-life balance, and so on. Uh, so, so it's all together uh, for, for making this happen. Uh, we heard before lunch from Lux and the Tore about the education. Uh, we've been focusing on this uh, automation operator education in this project because the numbers are so so big uh, of, of the competence in that area. Uh, and as I told, it's not only about the, the work, we also have guides that helps with the activities uh, for the job seeker or the family or the kids moving up so they can uh, get get in touch with the, uh, their interest and start, start that. So what we learned so far, uh, lessons so far in the project, we've seen some barriers, of course, uh, for, for making this happen. If I mention a few of them, uh, we have this reform for the Swedish Public Employment Service, that's Michaela was talking about, uh, which means that we need to partner up with a lot more uh, private providers than just working with the employment service. And it's not about uh, a sprint or a small group that we need here, as you know. So it's long-term relationships with, with these providers and finding the new ways for, for working together with, with this, within this area. But also in, in the incentives for, for the providers to work with us, uh, what are the gains for them to, to help us with this, uh, to get the mobility on the lab, labor market. Uh, but also, there's a new industry, as Northwold and Emily told, a lot of people need the education, and it's not as easy as it should be, uh, moving for, for the education first before starting work at, at the company as, as Northwold. Uh, and also, uh, I think a lot of people have, have heard about the finance, of course, for, for the candidates to be able to move. Uh, that we, They don't today, when they move within Sweden, get the financial support. Uh, but if you move, for example, from Vasa or Copenhagen, you can have financial support. And we find that a bit strange. 
then we would need more mobility on the labor market. So that's a few of, of the lessons so far.